Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the Strack House. For today, we are going to give you a little intro into what it's like putting on makeup for this kind of thing. We have this huge studio and there's some lights bearing down, so we have a wonderful makeup artist who does a lot of this for, she's done a Victoria's Secret show before, she does it, she's done it for newscasters, so she's going to walk us through a little bit what it looks like, and she did me. Hey, take a look. So she's the one who helps me uh, try to make my face look good on camera. She makes it so that uh, there's no shine and, you know, uh, brightens me up and makes my eyes stand out. So she is phenomenal. And she's going to kind of take you through some of her incredible products as well as what she does when she works on someone's face. So, and she also has an amazing mission too. So she can talk a little bit more about that. And she is very well versed in dermato dermatology. Dermatology, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give the mic to her so that she can talk and I'll just stop talking. All right. Thank you so much for those amazing compliments. It makes me feel so good to even just help a woman shine at all but for someone who inspires as many women as you like i really on cloud nine right now and i love helping people who help people so i'm honored of course. <laughs> i'm honored so i'm gonna start out as i go through i'm just gonna throw in some skincare tips as well because people don't understand how easy it is i literally did this in five minutes like i'm not joking like i woke up at four o'clock in the morning i need to help see this beauty <laughs> okay so the most important thing is to start out with moisturizer. You cannot apply anything on dry skin. So we're gonna get a moisturizer and apply that. So on certain things, it's actually, ignore some of these beauty tips and the beauty YouTube videos, right? I am a global dermal expert and some things are good to mix with a brush and some things are just as bitter to blend with your fingers because you get the warmth of your fingers with the contact of the skin and it actually will warm up the makeup and go into your pores a little bit easier so the makeup does not. It gives you that smooth, flawless touch with an even makeup application. You always want to go all the way down the neck because nobody likes that, uh, <laughs> where you can that tell. That line. <laughs> Maria says, if you can tell, you broke the spell. <laughs> Next we have a makeup primer. This does have just a little bit of illumination. Of my products, I created myself. These are all non-comedogenic, nano-molecular size. So what does that mean for those of us who know nothing? <laughs> <laughs> non-comedogenic is really important. So if you have sensitive skin, if you break out easy, if you get rashes easy, a lot of makeup out there has a lot of weird ingredients and a lot of big particles. So that means when you put it on, it's gonna clog your pores and make you break out. They're also all waterproof. Every single thing in my whole line is waterproof. This is a liquid highlighter. I'm gonna put this right onto the brush. Now, what I love about doing a good highlighter, obviously, it makes your face glow. Mm -hmm. I like to do it underneath the foundation and underneath everything. That way you have it, but you can't actually tell where it's coming from. And I don't know if you've ever seen anyone wear highlighter and it just looks like, what the heck did you, what's that line on your face? <laughs> so I try to avoid that. This is very shiny. So this is underneath, so you can see how so many people put it on above. And when you put it above, it's just so much. It's so much. Yeah. So shiny, yeah. So these are my waterproof foundations. They are so healthy for the skin. So I'm gonna apply this right onto the brush. And I like to use this with a huge fluffy brush. So those foundation brushes, the thin ones, a lot of times, mm -hmm. it just kind of, it doesn't work as well.
So whenever we're creating a foundation look, you never want to use just one color because that's no one ever has just one color. Mm. Didn't know that. So whenever you're going, um, right here I'm doing these highlighted points with a lighter foundation. And the beautiful thing you can see, this is very layerable. And clips. So the trick to tired eyes, I'm, she does not have tired eyes. I do. But <laughs> the trick. It's okay, you can try I, it. No, 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 I do this to everybody. Even, on my, even if I'm not tired, this is my go-to look. Mm -hmm. So if, if you try to hide a tired eye, and some people go just right where, you can say where the bags are, it doesn't actually, it just makes it look like you have a highlighted bag. So instead of doing that, I actually highlight from the brow all the way to the lip, across the lip, and all the way back up. So when the entire area is highlighted, it makes you look so awake and natural. So you can, get this one spot. So she can look at the camera and you can already tell there's so much more of a pop. So you always wanna go about, I'd say two to three shades lighter on the highlight, and we're gonna go two to three shades lighter on this contour color. The contour color is gonna bring things back. We're just gonna create a really nice shape. Always on this side where we want those hollow points to be. The temples. I love to blend this into the hairline very gently. Never forget the neck. <laughs> I'll sweep under the lip on both sides of the nose. Underneath the nose looks really good on camera, but it feels weird. So <laughs> it does feel I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. So then from here, whenever you're doing this, uh, you can turn to the side and then bite your cheek. So you can see where this hollow point is. And you'll take your brush and you actually just want to, you always get the ear. And I come straight up and I'm just dabbing this into it. And whenever you do the bronzer, I sweep straight up and sweep into this hollow. So by going up, I still keep this beautiful natural line of where her contour is actually supposed to be. And same thing with the nose. I just come straight up and I let gravity do its thing. So with the neck, I take the darkest foundation color, the contour color, I put on very, very lightly. I mix it in with moisturizer so you get a very thin coat. And you don't want your neck to be so light that it stands out, but you don't want it to be so dark that it stands out. You want it to be like a good med medium color, but with an almost clear, you can see now, with an almost clear shade. So really, all this brightness now goes right into her cheekbones and there's nothing to look at except for her beautiful face. I invented this retractable pen. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just translucent powder. And close. And this is just gonna really seal in the highlighted points. It's literally colorless. But you can see, I'm sure already on camera, she doesn't have blemishes, but if she did, they would all be fading away. She's being kind. I had blemishes. I didn't see them. <laughs> My favorite part, this is the contour. So we have dark brown and medium brown. So I'm gonna start out. Oh, of course. So this one. So um, the best brush to use for contour, uh, the secret behind this is actually gonna be, see it's pointed and it's flat. Why? Because we sweep up. So right here, if I put it in, I'm cutting in on the ear. 
I'm literally just flicking straight up. Bite your cheek. And going straight into this hollow and staying in that hollow. Making my skin look chinny. Or my chin look skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that means. I hope I'm doing a good job. Yes. <laughs> So the difference between these two, this is a warm tone and this is a cool tone. So the good thing about cool tones is that it looks like a shadow. So now that we have the warm color, just to give her face extra color, bite your cheek again, like in these hollows, this is where it starts to look like a shadow. So literally you're gonna see her start to lose weight on camera. Like no joke. Big tip, now you get the big foundation brush that still has just a tiny bit of foundation on it. The dogs are licking my legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, keep watching them walk around. So you can see, like you can't even see the line. So now that this flawless foundation's done, I'm gonna go all the way back over it because we just added more foundation with the translucent color, which is clear. Okay, so the most important part to this whole look is actually going to be the blush. So smile. So putting a little bit of blush, and I mean a tiny bit of blush, onto the apples. Sweep it back a little bit and you're going to go all the way up the side like a C. So you can see instantly it looks more natural. So these, these are my brow pencils. They're so thin. Literally whenever you go into the brow, it looks like individual hair strokes. makes your eyes look bigger. So for my lash clients, I have this uh, dur where is it at? Hold on. I have this Durably Flawless Mascara. It is oil free for those of us who have extensions. It has a volume side of the brush and a definition side of the brush depending on what kind of makeup that you're having. Ever, and you can put it anywhere. And one trick, you can do this. And that takes it off of where it will get on your teeth. Dun 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 dun
my gosh. Well, so now you can see why she's so talented and so good at what she does. And she has an incredible mission. Can you explain a little bit about that? Not just about buying makeup, being pretty. There's so much more to it. So being in the beauty industry for almost a decade, those of you who are stylists and technicians, you know you become a therapist and you get a whole hour with someone's most delicate moment of them relying on you to make them feel better. And a part of that is they, they tell you all kinds of things. There are so many women who not only struggle with confidence, but there's so many women who struggle in life. My, my big concept, I'm gonna start out by helping moms have the opportunity to make money so basically, I am selling all of my makeup. It's all high quality, waterproof, non-comedogenic, HD ready. It's literally really, really good. It's vegan, literally, it's really good makeup. I'm gonna sell it to where I can have brand ambassadors. We're gonna have fun, fun, fun beauty parties. And I'm giving the highest commission bracket possible. That way these women, they're not just surviving, they're now thriving. Now, as I build this up, my next goal is to actually have a brick and mortar, full one-stop glam shop. This is gonna be all my women beauty entrepreneur friends. So let's say you can come in before or after celebration. You can get your hair done, you can get your makeup done, you can get your nails done, you can get your pictures taken. We'll have um, clothing lines, like this is actually in my clothing line right now. It's clean, classy, conservative, but we'll have clothes for every single body type in case you want something. Um, we're literally one stop land shop, but the main thing is I'm gonna have a huge transparent daycare. I want that to be for free. It's gonna have cameras. That way, if you're a struggling single mom, you can come in and bring your kid, work in the daytime, make a beautiful wage where you're thriving in life, and you know that your kid is safe the entire time, and at nighttime, he's right there or she's right there with you, safe, and in good hands. All I want to do is create an opportunity for people who weren't born with one like me. I've been working in this industry for almost a decade now and I'm just ready to extend my arms, be here for the women, help women help women, and really just give children a chance to grow up with no <laughs> trauma. It's not right. So I promise whenever you buy my makeup, you're not just buying makeup, you're buying opportunity. Thank you so much. So if you have any questions or you want to find out more about Brittany, how can they get in touch with you? Well, I have three Instagrams. Let's just start there. Okay. <laughs> so I have the Durably Flawless shop. There you'll find makeup, clothes, beauty tools, and gifts because I mean, everyone loves a good gift. Yeah. Everyone comes up and be like, where do you get all these cool gadgets? I'm like, I don't know. Let me sell them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, um, I have my Durably Flawless services. That's going to be eyelash extensions, makeup, skincare. I do so many things I forget what I do, so just go on there and find out. Third thing is behind the scenes with Brit. So I work with so many different companies, photographers, videographers. I love behind the scenes because it's not just the star. I think sometimes the stars are the people actually doing the work. Mm -hmm. I am amazed at how talented some people are, and I, I love capturing that talent. Oh, I love it. Okay, well don't forget to visit her on her Instagram, and we'll put all the handles below, of course, and in the captions we'll tag everything. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Yay. To find out more about Brittany Long, you can take a look at our captions. We have her tag just on Instagram, Facebook, all the above. You can also visit her website there below in the captions. And don't forget, we are coming back in January with some great new shows. We hope to see you soon.